think we'd be in way over our heads. I'm like literally ready to put in an offer. But guys, the view is impeccable. There are up to 45 campsites. I like it. How much do you want for this place? Unreal. She's exhausted just seeing you again, huh? It's like a lot of work. This place is creepy vibes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To look at your smile behind the yeah, camera. You love it. Sick. Yes, it's true. We are looking to buy another property. And while we've always thought about doing another rentals or investment property, seeing all the comments from the cabin tour has really been the push we needed to get out and start looking. And the second push to just get out there and start looking was actually a health scare I've been going through behind the scenes. So about a month and a half ago, I found a lump in my right boob and I decided I needed to get it checked out. I spent about 12 hours in the hospital one day and I could tell by the doctor's reactions that things weren't looking good for me. I went from the first checkup to an ultrasound to a meeting with the radiologist to an immediate mammogram and all of that was very troubling and isolating because Eamon couldn't be there in the hospital with me but in the back of my head I knew it was likely bad news. I just finished. I don't know why I feel emotional about it but I do with all of these tests, so, anyways, it's done, it's done. Follow that with a call from my family doctor who basically called me to tell me I had cancer. So she sat me down, asked if I was in a safe space, if I had support, and then kind of laid out what the next few months would look like for me. For the last month and a half, I would say I was fighting a lot of emotions. Um, just wasn't sleeping, was super, super stressed. And I finally had my biopsy appointment where they actually extract tissue to double confirm that what they're seeing is cancer. And a few nights ago, I got a call from my doctor. Oh. I think I have good news. Basically, that, that biopsy did not show any cancer in it. And uh, you, can, you can stop. <laughs> I'm doing high girl husband and cry. <laughs> that to say is I always want to share with you guys what's really going on with us but as I was going through I felt a little um, overwhelmed by everything so now you know I hope you feel a little less alone if you're going through something similar or know someone close to you who is I'm so grateful to Eamon for all of his support and my family and friends please know that you're supported by us and that there's no better day than today to go out there and start living your dreams. And one of our major dreams is to find another property, fix it up again and share it with all of you. We love this community. We love doing what we do. So let's go check out some properties. Just wait till you see the second one we got planned for you. <laughs> Yesterday while we were out on the lake, we noticed a big for sale sign and we thought, what are the chances that there's a cabin available on our lake? So we're headed over to check it out in this new gatory thing. Bye gator. Hello general. Welcome to property number one. What really caught our eye about this property is that it sits on I think about two acres of land. So we'll have lots of privacy for our guests. 
let's go check it out. Where's Pauline? Where's Pauline? Making us wait, that lady. Okay, so it's a little elevated, probably even more than our cabin. But guys, the view is impeccable. <laughs> and guess what we're looking at? That's my home. That's the little island I stayed on. Right there. Protein, baby, protein. Where do you get your protein from? Whole food plant-based beans, man. Oh my God, stunning. How you doing, Pauline? Good to see you. Thanks to Pauline, I've got the facts. So we have 2.3 acres and 320 feet of shoreline. Cathedral ceilings on the main level, large open air deck on three sides, beautiful clean deep water shoreline for swimming. <gasps> oh my gosh. Very that basic. That is basic. It's uh, reminiscent of your place originally. Yeah. No, our place was in much worse No, shape. this has a lot more potential. Like, yeah. This even the, the real live beams going through yeah. the white ceiling, that's yeah. stunning. This is a teeny tiny kitchen. Rustic, exposed brick. <laughs> Bathtub. This feels like my grandma's house right here, you know? Even this toilet is like my granny's toilet. Bedroom number one, and I hope you don't mind having a noisy neighbor. <laughs> no, no ceiling. They the cheaped out and did half a wall. But a good sized bedroom. Yeah, it's sure. actually a very nice sized bedroom. Yeah, the ceiling fan. I like that. This is, I guess, the dining room. Feels more like a cards table. Yeah, yeah. But very cottagey. Yeah. That is super nice. Deck's probably to code. <laughs> It feels very private, very like retreat oasis -y, yeah. I'd say. Laundry room. Oh, very basic water room. Okay, beer fridge, freezer. How much do they want for this place? <laughs> Bedroom number two with all the beds. You know, it's interesting that they have like the, I guess that would be the master up there, but it's two double beds. Yeah. So the partners don't like each other, huh? They need their own space. Oh, okay. Wow, talk about a tiny bedroom. There's no light even. Air airport style. I mean, it's a beautiful view, if I'm being honest. Like sitting here, waking up to this is really pretty. Pauline just counted, we've got 78 stairs minus the platform. At our place, we have 62. A little easier trip down to the water. Although we're elevated, once you get down to the water, the shoreline is stunning. They have 320 feet and it's quite level. So from that last little platform, you can walk along here. Wow, this is beautiful. Really pretty, hey? Oh, oh my heart. That is nice. What do you think, audience? You guys want to stay here? You guys willing to take the steps up and down? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Ooh. Property number one. Let us know what you think. We're actually going to head on to a very, very unique property. We'll explain more when we get there. We got a new driver in town. Hop in, bucko. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This next property is very interesting. It's gonna be for all the van lifers out there. It's a big idea, but we figured we'd come check it out to see just how big. It's the opposite of the last place, isn't it? Oh, well, it's is the opposite of everything we're about to see. <laughs> Pauline, tell them where we are. We are at a beautiful site on the water. It's a campground. We're gonna call this the campground and it sits on five acres of land with two sandy beaches on the waterfront. There are up to 45 campsites, bathroom facilities, flat areas for recreation, beautiful gardens, and 
a year-round home, which we're gonna call Bob's house. Oh. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Like, you have to run a full-blown office, babe. This is the office. Because yes. you have to check people in. <laughs> plant lady like me, I like that. Love that. Love that. Okay, I can see Bob moving in here. Okay, so it's like a full on house in here. Yes. We have our bathroom. The bathtub. Yes. Here we have bedroom one. And here's bedroom two. Oh. Oh, wow, lots of room up here. Holy smokes. Okay, so let's call this bedroom number three. Unoccupied bedroom number three. Bedroom number four. Oh my gosh. And counting. I mean, they're tiny, but bedroom number five? <laughs> With a whole bunch of weird, that's kind of spooky. What do you have in here? The attic. The attic. This is cool. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that spooks me out about an attic. Well, and every attic has one. So the idea, of course, would be to host all of you with your vans or RVs. There are 45 campsites, like I said, and they're really quite beautiful amongst the trees, little picnic table. It's helping us really see the vision. Look at your smile behind the yeah, camera. Yeah, you this love is it. Sick. <laughs> but how about the beach? Unreal. That's really cool. So all of this beach. So that dark, dense tree line over there is included in the property. One wheels here, golf carts, people can use that. They can rip along here. Horseshoes, everyone's playing. This would be like the hottest place of the year, man. <laughs> I'm scared by how big, how big your smile is right now. Like you're actually- a boat launch? It's beautiful though, what a beach. Yeah. Oh, nice and clean. I like the use of plexiglass, very smart. You'd be the one maintaining that though, you'd have to keep it that clean. <laughs> it's what we call the Highland, premium spot. It's cost double, you get the view. <laughs> There's th four lots along here, all with power already installed, yeah. that's amazing. Not only do we have outhouses here at the campground, but we also have proper toilets. So this property obviously would be a little bit more complicated. There are existing trailers on lots, so we would need to look at what the revenue is, how long their contracts are. This is a beautiful, like every time I turn around, look, look how beautiful this little the camp spot is. The campgrounds are really, really, really special. Stunning. Very beautiful. And we've been to a number of campgrounds in our day, so a few. it's very nice. But it becomes an entirely new business for us, doesn't it? 100%. Which you look a little too excited by, bud. <laughs> I like a challenge. Well, that's a wrap on the campground. And I don't know, man, I can see it. I can also see it. It, it feels really amazing here. And it would be so, so special to not only be able to have you guys rent one of our properties, but for us to be here and have 45 different couples and families and van Tents and, and everyone hanging out and playing horseshoes. And exactly, like games. We could play spike ball over here. We could have Saturday night vegan barbecues. It would just be like <laughs> really cool. Anyways. That's option number two. We are running a little bit late. We're going to see another property. It's an hour away. We only got 45 minutes till we're supposed to be there. So Oops. we're going quick. Good thing we got the Speed Demon 3000 behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah. I know that buying property is always stressful, but currently here in Canada, and I think it's similar everywhere. Yeah. The real estate market is really, really hot. So we love this property, but they're accepting offers this evening, which means that if we like it, we have to move really quick and it's definitely gonna be sold by tomorrow morning. So, you know, driving there, it's like, oh, like, no. 
It's just a lot. I'm also excited about this property, but I do feel like there's gonna be some tight neighbors. It's amazing how tricky they can make those little photos. Yeah. Those photographers. <laughs> They're sneaky. Must be nice. First impressions, this road is almost like suburbia on the water. It doesn't feel like you're moving to a cabin in the woods. No, yeah, this is like, like fancy. The road is so easy. Like getting to our place is bumpy, windy, barely a road, and this is basically paved. Welcome to the Panaboat property. We have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it sits on point acres of land. Point acres? Point eight, point eight acres of Almost land. Almost an acre. So there's the main cottage, then we have this little boathouse, which I would love to turn into a cute sleeping cottage bunkie, and just so much beautiful flat land. Flat have I mentioned land. it has a lot of flat land? Like you can walk from the cottage to the water with not a single step. Oh, that's not true, 15 steps. No, I mean steps down to the water. Like oh, we have stair. 60 steps yeah. down to the water. This is, yeah. this is nice. Oh, it has a very cottage feel. Smell. It has a cottage smell. <laughs> oh no, this is a pan boat smell. So it's like a BC cedar smell. Like the whole thing is. Oh, Eamon, it's like the dog. Yeah. Oh. It's like our friends bought one like this. Problem with this is if a piece of a rocks are screwed, yeah, it's all inter. Yeah. Also, you could never insulate this to be four yeah. season. Uh, it's a cottage. Yeah. Uh, it's cottage. It's a yeah. cottage vibe. Yeah. I love it. No, this is but not like gross no, cottage. You know, like cedar. Yeah. yeah, you're so right. There's oh. cottage smell and then there's this beautiful cedar smell. Bedroom number one. Not really much of a view. But very. Or maybe this is like a double bed. They're tricking us. <laughs> Bedroom number one. Amen. It's gonna play your piano. Look. Look up here. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it plays itself? Yes. No. It's no. Not coming. I just don't want to push it. Don't break the piano, Polly. We're probably not even supposed to be touching this. <laughs> but look, it's a player. I was gonna say it's they're a little sticky. <laughs> but okay, so you can't use the fireplace. Oh, oh. what? What, what not did wet we certified? Learn? Not yes. <laughs> Could we certify it? Yeah, of okay. course. Oh no. Here's the problem. Oh. Uh, Do you remember why? Yeah, it needs to come out more. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. But and chimney. Uh, well, so we can put some stones up there. Right. So and we can put a metal tray on front. Well, there's. I know a guy. <laughs> She's exhausted just seeing you again. Huh? Yeah, it's like, a lot of work. I'm like, no, amen. <laughs> You know, like you have to have somebody who really wet certifies Oh yeah, certified. Yeah, yeah, those people. Yeah. <laughs> the real people who wet certify. So tiny little kitchen. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And tiny little kitchen is an understatement. Tiny oh little kitchen. We got half an tiny inch. Tiny little left. fridge. You couldn't even put a full sizer in here. You could make this the kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would be the move. Yeah. I skipped a whole bedroom. Hey, if you want to wake them up. Hey, get out of bed. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. Not bad. Okay, so pretty no. tiny again. Yeah. What did you look up for? Well, it, they didn't give up the ceiling, all, the wall all the way up to the ceiling. We only have a single washroom and it's pretty rough. Metal frame shower. A copper pipe going into the ceiling. So that's the water heater, that's small. Oh. One shower at a time. Oh. And there's no basement, right? So you have to have all this stuff in here. Mmm. Does looking at other properties make you love ours even more? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <gasps> okay, welcome to the bunkie. Patio doors there. Your doors here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. They got the little bunk beds here. This place is creepy vibes. <laughs> You and I are having such a different experience here. Like, I love it and you hate yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you could get rid of the whole ceiling and, and use the pitch and get some tongue and groove. Yes. Yeah. There's the even we know and love, love, Polly. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he fell off the dock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody with a little fun and energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at he's smiling, Pauline. <laughs> it's beautiful with the tree. Right? Yeah. 
You can even do like a deck out to here. Little illegal deck with no permits. Hey! <laughs> this is bee storage. Oh. Bunch of harness gonna fly out of here. We can make this a little bunky too. I think it is. It's got a washroom, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. So these are all separate departments. <laughs> this is weird. Well, this is super strange. Where do you wash your hands, Pauline? No, no, there's right a there. That's a sink. Oh. <gasps> this is like, this is not that weird, but wait till you come and just see like, this is not so, what I was expecting. Are they selling it with all this crap in here? You get everything. <laughs> Boat property, I'm like literally ready to put in an offer. What? I am, that's how I feel about this place. I feel like it's really special. The land is really special. Oh, Eamon is not so sold. Do you guys wanna come stay here? It's pretty dope, but I don't know, man. It needs a lot of work. Yeah, I think maybe you are more exhausted from all the work we've been doing than you let on. Cause you, I feel like last year you would have seen it and been like, we could fix it like this and it would be amazing and this year you're like tired. I think one thing I don't know if I'm, I mentioned but the way the house is designed it's all cedar interlock so you can't tear down a wall like it once it's all built it's already built so you can't insulate yeah. you can't you know really alter the space that much and that's what's kind of limiting for me Did you walk the door? Yep and we're off to property number four, which is another totally left field idea we have. It's like, how do we go from miniature cabin essentially to campsite with 45 spots to... We know we're up for the challenge, but we just have no idea what direction we're going. Exactly, exactly. So this would require a lot, a lot of energy, but it could be super, super cool. And uh, we've got to get on the sea dues to get there, so. RPS. I forgot the keys. No! I never win! I'm just gonna welcome everyone to property four, aka the island property. I think we'd be in way over our heads. Like what do you even start with? This is a 26 acre island and it's a vacant lot, which means there's absolutely nothing. No hydro, no septic, no building of any sort. But then you'd own the whole island. I know, like it's it's this very romantic idea of welcoming you guys and bringing you on the pontoon boat over to the island. You know, that's that feels very romantic and cool, but like to get there. Uh, very shallow getting in. We're gonna cruise around at the other side to see what the waterfront looks like. The back side is actually not even uh, rideable right now because it's so shallow. So we'll, we'll head over there and see what the island looks like. On paper, this sounds really, really cool. But once you actually get here, this is like wilderness. First impressions. My first impressions are, it's a hard no. Yeah, this is a massive project. The, I wanted to get off the sea do and show you around and sort of like give myself and the audience an idea of what we could make of it. It's not even possible to, to <laughs> enter. There's it's just woods. It's a 26 acre island full of forest and trees and dense, dense. Wilderness. Wilderness, yeah. It's so cool, but I think it's a no. Please no. <laughs> Welcome to property number five on our list. A Trinity Cottage. You know our first van's name is Trinity. I did not know that. Look at this. Trinity Cottage? 
Hello, universe! Welcome to Trinity Cottage. I'm in love already, haven't even seen the place. A central wood stove, two comfortable bedrooms, a two-piece bathroom, which is large enough to accommodate a future shower. So I don't think we currently have a shower. And it's on 1.29 acres with 300 feet of waterfront, which is just... Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Perfect, <gasps> bunkie. perfect bunkie. Wow, it's huge. Yeah, you put a nice two bedrooms in here. You could do a little queen loft up there. Yes. I like it. There's no heat. Uh, in here? Anywhere. No. It says they have a central wood stove. No. Yeah. All heated by a central wood stove. Not, Not operational. operational. Oh. <laughs> oh. Panabo! All together now? <sighs> wow. Listen to this cruncher. Oh! Oh, come sit with me, Pauline. <laughs> okay, come here. Yeah, tell me what else is missing. This is like, like. Stove. Yes. Oh. Oh my god. Welcome to the one and only bathroom. As we all just noticed, we are missing a shower. So oh wow, you're not, not even bathtub. Lake, pits, and ditch. <laughs> Just a little scrub scrub. Principal, bedroom, numero uno. Oh, not too bad. Good, a good <laughs> amount of space, little closet, nice little window, and bedroom number two. Not a bad size, but there's no lighting in any of the rooms except for lamps. And I think I explained this in the last, pan abode? Pan abode. These are, this is how the home is built. So it's literally like Lego pieces that are connected. So the walls are solid cedar. That's why it smells delicious. But you can't get into the wall like drywall and run a electrical wire. You, if a piece rots out at the bottom, you can't replace that. Mm -hmm. You can't insulate this. You're very much stuck with this design. Mm -hmm. I've just had my first major bummer of the property. When you're down here on the dock, looking out at the lake, enjoying the view, you get traffic. You can see like Highway 7 traffic and you can also hear it in the distance. So we just went from serene cabin escape to sort of shocked back to reality in a way. Don't love it. Really rare to tick every single boxes on these properties in this market. But this one's definitely coming close. Time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. For those of you who aren't familiar, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses for creative and curious people. You've seen Eamon and I learn all sorts of things on Skillshare from illustration, design, learning to play the ukulele, how to be a better plant mom, etc. Just found an awesome course on Skillshare called Finding Fulfillment Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career by Emma Gannon. And essentially what she's saying is sometimes you don't know why these pivots happen. For example, us moving out of a van and into a cabin could have gone catastrophically wrong. But before you take that pivot, you just have to find out what fulfills you and what makes you happy. And when you're a creative, I think that really comes across in your work, which is why we've seen success in our pivot to the cabin and maybe the pivot to another cabin or to getting back on the road. The first 1,000 of you who click the link in our description box will get the Skillshare Premium Membership for free for one month. So go ahead, check that out, and we'll see you Sunday. Yeah, I'm okay. I just got a call from Wood's office. Yeah? And um, as of right now, she feels like she can share that it's good news. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Oh what did she say? Oh my god! Oh my god! So what did she say? What did she say? She said the biopsy showed that it wasn't cancerous. And my blood work didn't show any irregularities. Um, yes! <laughs> oh my god! That's such great news! Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Me too! Oh, back! Oh, hallelujah! 
Hey, bro. What's going on? It's not cancer. What? <laughs> it's not cancer. <laughs> well, let's go. Yeah, it's Sally time, buddy. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. You can't get cancer as a vegan. 